<coughs> most people are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. I'm pretty tired today, but that mean, doesn't mean that I'm retired today. What I'm doing is working on constructive criticism. I'm working on a online blog, and I'm working on a lot of things in the federal government that most people don't understand at all. You see, there's different ways to make a living. There's the hourly wage of a low-level employee who gets paid by, well, the hour. Then there's people who are on salary who sort of manage those people, and they get paid, well, by the annum or the annual salary, which means twice a month they get a paycheck, or once a month they get a paycheck. But that's not me. I'm a business person. I'm an entrepreneur. I get paid when I do the job, or after the job, before the job, between the midst of the job. It's really different for me. I'm paid on project work, so if I do a project, I might not get paid for 30, 60, 90 days, depending on who I'm working for. There are other times when I get paid completely up front to say, you want to secure this time with me, the training with me, the opportunity with me, this is what it costs, this is how long it will work, and this is precisely what I'm going to give you during that time. And I'm not being a jerk. That's how you handle project work. Sadly, there are people who try to pretend to be me, which is a total mockery of my life and a totally mockery of their own life. Jesus Christ did not put people on earth to make a mockery of other people's lives. There's always a Christian person who thinks, I'm going to teach you a lesson, but nobody gave you the right to teach anyone a lesson, unless you're a trainer of some sort of lesson. You see, in life, you are not in control of other people. You are only in control of you under federal law. You have rights to you and you alone. You don't have rights to monkey with, insult, or do anything else to anyone else's life. And if you haven't learned that by now, you should go back to where you came from. Now, I'm being harsh, but I am being honest. We don't need you here if you're going to break our laws, interfere with our lives, steal our shit, and just try and fuck our wives.